The 58 to 64 Chevys are great looking cars, but they present a huge array of problems when trying to build a modern pro touring type car or even a really nice cruiser. The original X-Frame design is probably one of the worst ever designed, um, notorious for all kinds of flex and movement. Exhaust routing is a nightmare, really hard to get a lot of the modern engine and transmission combinations to fit. Getting a low ride height is also very tough and being able to keep the car drivable. We really spent a lot of time trying to figure out the initial frame design, whether we do a beefed up X-frame design or switch it to more of a parallel style frame rail like we do with the 55 to 57 Chevys. Ultimately, the floor lended itself to doing a, a parallel frame rail relatively easy with minimal body modifications. This really gave us a lot better platform for strength, uh, freed up a ton of room to run exhaust down the center of the car where the original X-Frame was, opened up a lot of possibilities for bigger engine and transmission combinations that weren't possible with the original frame, and enabled us to get the lowered ride height, keep the frame rails tucked underneath the rocker panel so you don't see it from the side profile of the car, and give it a lot stronger platform. We were able to add a lot of additional body mounts into the cars. Um, we located these in points where there are already existing hat channels in, in a lot of cases, and in some cases where original body mounts were. This provided, again, more strength and more stability uh, between the body and frame and, and gave it a better mounting platform. There's a lot of differences in how we build a frame compared to what others in the industry are using. Um, where others are using bent square tube or miter cut and welded square tube. All of our frame rails are hand built in-house. Start with a inside, outside, a top and a bottom pattern. Those are fixtured in a jig, welded together. This allows us the ability to have a, a formed flowing frame rail that shapes around the car, has visually appealing lines and uh, curves and bends to it. Something that looks custom that belongs underneath a custom car. The rear frame rails are narrowed to accommodate up to a 12 inch wide wheel with a 345 tire on it. The width on the front of these cars also lends itself to a pretty big wheel and tire combination. You can easily run a 10 inch wide wheel with a 275 or 285 series tire on it and have full turn lock to lock. This gives you a pretty killer platform to get a lot of rubber underneath these big cars and make them handle and perform. We TIG weld every component on the chassis. Um, TIG welding takes longer, it's harder to do, but at the same time, it's a better weld, it's got deeper penetration, it's visually more appealing, and when it comes time to do the paint body work side of the frame, it's a lot easier to work with. Specific chassis are available for each model throughout the 58 to 64 Chevy year range. Just like the rest of our fast track chassis, there's a wide array of brake options, coilover options, sway bar options, so the chassis can be customized to what your end goal is. As with anything that we do at the Roadster Shop, we want the look of our chassis to really reflect on the build of the vehicle. If you're building a custom car, you should have something that looks like a custom chassis underneath that car.